Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is a whole review, okay? A whole review on this show that I'm starting to like a lot, even though it was over the top, but so am I, okay? If you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and mug on my girl, Ho J Bird. J Bird. Dun, 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 dun and all that goodness. Yes. Anyway, do not forget to also like this video. It's always loved when you do that, when you do that because again, that helps YouTube share our videos. So please, please, please like the video. Okay, comment in the comment section. You can also share this video on your social media because it helps more people find me, okay? Um, follow me on Instagram and or Twitter, J underscore Lee's underscore corner. It's on the screen too. Y'all knowing all the same stuff I say in every video, but it's 3 o'clock in the morning and let's get her done, okay? So the episode opens up, okay, right where the last one left off. Lily then shot Bobby, okay? I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, okay? It's a fire. But Donald walk in and he like, oh my God, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? He looking at his wife holding a gun and Bobby on the floor with his cowboy boots, you know what I'm saying, pointing to and off. Bleating on their carpet and on their flow. And I'm like, get him out of there. He like, did you call the police yet? She's like, no, no. And Bobby was like, I need a, I need a ambulance. You need to call the paramedics. I need a doctor, okay? I need help or whatever. And so Don, like, you know what, Lily, I need to go on somewhere because I'm for the call, secret service or whatever. This is not issue of national security, okay? And now Don now has the gun pointed at Bobby. And Bobby ain't nan time and said, I fucked your wife. He ain't say none of that of it. He, I need a doctor. Because he bleed, bleed. Like, she shot, shot him. Okay, not a little, a little fake bullet. Not a little bounce round bullet. No, a bullet to the gut or whatever. Why are you in my house, okay? Why are you in my house? Now, this point in time, like, literally go downstairs and let in the secret service. Because he called them. He calls her, look, I got an incident at my house. No, don't send him. Send everybody else but him. I'm like, cool, it's but him. That's Kyle. We'll figure that out later. So when Lily go down there to open the door, he's like, why were you in my house? Man, I need a doctor. You know, she shot me. No, why was you here? What's going on? Okay. And then the Secret Service walk in or whatever. And who's there? Kyle. Kyle, why aren't you here? I'm like, oh, he don't like Kyle. Kyle must be a stalker, okay? And so they then pick the dude up and just carry the dude away. I'm looking like, that's how they do? They just pick up bodies and move them? Okay, I guess that's what happens or whatever. So we see Kyle is trying to be very attentive to Donald. I said, oh, okay. I, they, they must be bumping others because he's just so attentive to Donald. And Donald was so put off by Kyle. They bump others at least once. Someone bumped an ugly. I'm not sure who's, okay? So we then see Donald like, Kyle, go away. Leave. I don't need you on watch. Get on from, get from my house. Get on from around here, whatever. So... <laughs> Like I, I came home and he was just he was in the house. I don't I don't know what happened, you know. Did he did you guys talk? He's like, What? Did he tell you anything when he was up here? He's like, No, he just got back for the ambulance or whatever. But he like, you know, this is a a a, a matter of national security. Okay, by in the morning, by in twenty four hours I would have all the information on who he is and what he was doing. I'm like, let's go to the airport because he she mentioned that she seen him at the airport because her dress was ripped. And he said, How well ugh. he grabbed me at the airport or whatever, but it's fine. I came home and he was still here. So I'm like, first of all, you didn't gave him the information that he gotta go find out when we first met him at. But I'm like, I digress. So again, she nervous. She's like, I don't know what he said for them two minutes I was gone or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, we do see they took Bobby to some basement bunker, okay? And they got some doctors working on him with no anesthesia. Oh, I need some medication. I need a, oh, a hospital. And he then passes out from the pain. And they're like, you know, you went to the, the chief of staff's home. You went to the wrong house tonight, buddy. And, mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. You fucked up now. Now, Kyle... And the other Secret Service guy say, 
you know, I think he's you know, like um arranged like a, a like retired military because it's his tattoos, he you know what I'm saying, his special forces or whatever. So it's gonna be hard to get any information from him. And Kyle say, I can get information from anybody. I'm like, girl, Kyle seen danger, but I, I don't know. So we do see um at the White House, we see Secret Service walking some woman in the front door. I say, since when? Do you watch walk strange women in trench coats through the front door? What are any some tunnels to go through? I digress. So we then see the woman come creeping up in the house in the trench coat and some heels. Okay, we see Hunter get a text. Do, 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 do. He then creep up out of bed. Okay, now he creeping and Victoria she playing sleep, but she looking like. Mm-hmm. He creep out, but she know, okay, he's up to something, okay? We then see woman who looked just like Ruth. Bring the little children to me. Ruth looked just like her, and she in the White House. It ain't Ruth. It's, it's clearly it's her twin sister, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And she meet with Hunter, you know? And I'm like, oh, do I smell a whore? Yes, it's Hunter's whore. Because, again, he's married, he's all whore. You know, thank you for, you know, getting me in the White House. Now that you're president, you still want to deal with me. And then they start doing it all over the Oval Office. I mean, all uh, that office is disgusting at this point in time. Ass cheeks. And I'm like, get the ass cheeks off the desk. What is wrong with you? Hunter is a full-fledged president. And he is having sex in the Oval Office. I say, Lord, what a whole whore. So we then see Barry. Barry is still out here looking for his daughter. Like, where's my kid? I want my kid. Where is she? Okay. Now, he didn't roll up to his hood cousin's hood. I'm looking like, Barry got hood cousins, but I guess so. Okay. Now, cousin Ray Ray in there, I don't know what his name is, but you know what I'm saying? Hood cousin name Cutting Ray Ray, okay? So cutting Ray Ray and them or whatever, outside or whatever, he like, you know, them people, them cut people that came with my daughter, Ruth crazy stuff, they get in, I need to know where them crazy cut people at. Man, they crazy, man, they be, they, they kill her. You know, you can't go over there, like, you can't, you can't do that, not leave the people be. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. I want to get my daughter back. I would no, not do that. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? He like, give me a gun. Someone give me a gun. Because Cousin Ray Ray then gave him an address where they usually be at. But they won't give Barry a gun. So Barry then punches one good dude in the face and takes his gun. I'm like, Barry, you don't know how many bodies that, that thing got on it. You don't take random people's guns. That what you do. Not, don't do that, Barry. But Barry takes the gun anyway. Uh-uh, that's cuz. That's cuz. Because Ray Ray friends want to beat uh, Barry's ass. Because one, he can't run up like he do somebody. And two, he didn't punch old boy in the face. That's cuz. 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 I'm like, why he keeps saying, we hear you. You're his cousin. Please stop saying cuz. But I, I, I digress. Anyway, the whole time Barry is saying, they got my daughter I want to get her back. They laughing as if he's saying they stole my car. It's a whole child, a whole human being. And I'm like, what kind of cousin is Ray Ray that he don't want to help cousin Mary? But I digress, okay? But again, he let him live. He let him walk away with said stolen gun. Okay, I'm like, boy. <laughs> we then see little thigh pocket. Okay, little thigh pocket in the kitchen. You know see All in the refrigerator with the door open, letting out all the coats, okay? And Mama Victoria... Stop eating at night. Look at these stress marks. I'm like, they do not like each other. So, you know what I'm saying? They banter back and forth. A little hate banter. I hate you. You hate me. We're a hating family. I'll see you in hell. That kind of stuff. Whatever. So, Gail then says, hmm, you might want to head to the Oval. I think I saw someone that you know in there. Me and the mama, Daddy Mitchell is here. Mm-hmm, like she always is. So Victoria gets pissed and she walks away to go find who? Her husband who's up in there uh, banging his mistress. So we then see Thought Pocket Gale. You know where she at? Thought Pocket Gale then calls her boyfriend. Oh, she's been waiting to call her, but he has not called her. So she calls him on the kitchen phone, okay, the White House kitchen phone, okay? And then we see that Gale's gangster. Gangsta, gangsta, loving boyfriend is none other than who? Cousin Ray Ray. I'm like, of all the thugs in all the cities, of all the states, you dating the cousin 
of the man you accused of taking it. Wrongfully accused, by the way. Okay, I'm like, Lord. So, that pocket gal is dating gangster cousin Ray Ray. That's who the mama like, he won't be near us, okay? Not on my watch. And he like, look, ma, you know what I'm saying? You too hot. I can't do it. you like, you got too much going on because me. I'm a gangster, gangster, gangster loving, and you are the president's daughter. I can't afford that kind of heat on my tail. You know what? You wanna why? I'm a gangster, gangster loving dude. And I'm like, boy, you is not, he don't even look gangster. He does, girl, he all moisturized and shiny. Girl, okay. Anyway, but she don't know. Who is, she don't know who he related to. She don't know at all. She like, I need to see you. We could be together. I can't do the White I don't want to come to the White House. No. Plus, my uncle worked there. What? Yes, my uncle worked there for years. Who is your uncle? Why does it matter? Just who is your uncle? <sighs> Richard. He's the, chief, he's the head of staff or whatever. Whatever. You know Richard. Barry's daddy. You know what I'm saying? My cousin Barry too. Like, I can't. Mm -mm. And my, my uncle would hate me. You know what I'm saying? Why? Cause he's gangster or whatever, and so I, I can't, I can't do that at all. He like, wait, does he hear like a beeping in the phone? He like, wait, where you calling me from? She's like the kitchen phone. He's like, oh, this bitch, click, hung up on her. You can't call me from a recorded line, girl, because I'm a gangster, gangster loving. Can't do that or whatever. And now she's like, mm. he hung up on me all day. I mean, you know, thought like a girl that's out here fighting and bopping all up and through. We then see Victoria. Okay, and Victoria has made her way to the front door of the Oval, okay? And she wants to go in there and see what her husband is doing. However, his security, the same man who brought his whore in the White House, refuses to let her in. And she's like, oh, oh I can get in? I am the first. He's like, ma'am, if you can go back to the residence, I, just, I can't let you in. I have strict orders to not let anyone in. She picked up like a, a, a vase or... Or uh, what? Well, maybe it was a can. I don't, it was something glass, and those that Adam hits him in the head. She up here fighting the Secret Service dude in the hallway. I say, Lord, where is her security? Okay, should not her security fight his security? I'm just saying. But she's scrapping with him, and so much so that he has to defend himself, and he kind of pushes her down, puts her arm. You hurt me, ma'am. It was intentional. Okay, I just, you know, can you just calm down? Can you, you know what? He always embarrasses me. You know, do you see this? What I'm doing here, okay? He's a piece of shit, okay? He's a, a hillbilly whore fucking cheating. All these things, whatever. And she has to be yelling and fussing and cussing up. He's like, ma'am, the, the room is not He can't hear you, okay? But you should try to get up and go back to the rest. Okay, I'm sorry, but let's go ahead back and do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm. Mm -hmm. And she gets up and she walks away. I'm like, girl, I'm surprised she cut his head off, but I'm like, it is what it is. So Lily and Donald are in the bed now, they're sleeping, okay? But Lily is having nightmares of the man she shot, okay? So she wakes up out of her sleep. I'm like, Lily, calm down. So she wakes up out of sleep and, you know, oh, baby, it's okay. What's going on? Oh, this, I'm so worried. I'm saying, you know, <sighs> where. Where did they take him? Like, is he okay? He's like, stop worrying about it. It's okay. I'm like, how you sleep in the bed with your husband? Up uh, thinking about Bobby. Okay? Poor little Bobby. Okay? Bobby Boucher. Bobby, OG Bob Johnson. Just all of them together. Okay? So, he like, look, that's not. You know, it's okay. Like, I shot someone. Out of, I need to know if they're okay. And she played like she just really concerned about a stranger she shot. Not the man she had sex with in the in, in the bathroom that she shot. Okay? He's like, look, you know what I'm saying? I can check tomorrow if he's okay or whatever. And I can get more information in the morning. Let's go to bed. Can I see him? You know, how much can you find out about him? He like, what? No, you can't see him. I know, no, no, no. And I, I would know everything. I would know everything in the, you know, in the morning. You know, I just, he has a kid. Is it, is it family? Kids? I just, I can't, I can't believe I shot him. Girl, no, he just hope he don't have chlamydia, okay? <laughs> Gonna be like Carissa on Greenleaf. Anyway, so, he like, you know, just calm down. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about whatever. I'm like, girl, just... Just stop. Ask about that man. Let, let that man be. Like, let him be. He like, you know what? You're just, you're gonna make a great mom. You you worried about him, and if you have kids, you're gonna be a great mom one day. She said, oh, for that to happen, we have to have sex. I say, oh, y'all don't have sex. 
Girl, he's gay. Anyway, we then see because she said that now they a little bit upset. So she gets up and goes downstairs for some water. Now she go down there, right? And then she see Kyle. Kyle is outside at what you doing, Kyle? Girl, be like, look, I'm here protecting the house or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we come in, like you know what I'm saying, she then asked him like where did y'all take that man? Like, what did y'all take him? Is he okay or whatever? I'm, is he talking? He's like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not at liberty to tell you what's going on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to tell me something, I'm listening. What do you mean? He like, look, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing this job a long time. And nothing about what happened tonight adds up. So if there's something you want to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm on your side, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, is your husband, is he, is he sleeping or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, if the dude is okay and he starts talking, is there something I need to know? I don't like a lot of questions. I am going to bed because you're on some bullshit, Calvin. And she walks away. And I'm like, well, I mean, you asking him about that man ain't going to make him not want to ask you about that man, too. And it don't add up. They walked in the house and you shot a random man. And he wasn't, he wasn't even dressed like a burglar. He had on cowboy boots, okay? Them slip and slide boots, okay? Just, no, them are not burgling them boots. I'm just saying, it's, they, they ain't the boots you wear to break in the house. But I digress. So, we do see at uh, Barry Mama House, um, Richard with the daddy and his girlfriend, the Barry girlfriend talking or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And he, she told him, the daddy how they took the baby. Okay, they came in because Ruth was here visiting the baby. And then they came in and snatched her out, out of Miss, Miss, Miss uh, uh, Nancy's hands. Well, Nancy asked, should they have let her in the house? Period. Okay? Or at least should I have let her in the house by herself? I'm just saying that. So we then see a knock, knock, knock the door. It's Cousin Raymond. Cousin Raymond, like, you know what? Uh, Barry came to see me. He was pissed. Okay, I have the MFA address for them cult people. He also has a gun. How you get a gun? He took it for my people. Okay? But you, uncle, need to go find him. Okay? Now. Okay? Before he makes a bad mistake. Okay, I can't tell you what he was up to. Now leave me be, and then he leaves. I'm like, girl, come on now. And then Barry, Richard goes to leave to go find Barry. So we then see Thought Pocket Girl again. I don't like Thought Pocket Girl because Thought Pocket Girl was being real, real rude to the lady who's like the head of staff or whatever. I can't what the title is, whatever. Ugh. How can I get a phone call out? How can I, how? I need a secure line. I'm hungry. Are you dumb? I can get you fired. You can be back on welfare. I'm, she's just saying all these horrible, mean, rude things, old girl. And old girl, like, you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. I'm, saying, I'm just not going to. I'm a, I'm a black woman. I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to make her some eggs. I'm just going to stop doing that. But as rude as Thought Pocket was, she really just leaves. And when she leaves, all black women say, you know what? I'm going to poison her. Please do. Stop Pocket Girl deserves it. You know what? Put like laxatives in her water. Make her shit herself. I just do that one good time right before she goes to a party. That's what I would do. But I digress. We then ask Hunter. Hunter didn't have sex with his mistress or whatever, and now she's leaving. Um, and I'm like, okay. Now when she leaves or whatever, uh, we see the the mistress delivery guy, the AK guy, uh, the, the secret service guy, come in like you know, saying your wife was out to the door and she was, you know, she was looking for you, whatever. What happened? You know, well, things got physical, you know, but she eventually went back to her room. You know, well, she liked to be slapped around a little bit. It's okay. She probably liked whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? You know, matter of fact, he's like, no, I don't, I don't want it anymore. He's like, no, no, no. You could deal with my wife and take her off my hands. Like, no, sir. I'm just here to do my job. Okay? That's all I'm here to do. So, um, he's, you know what? You think I'm joking? Like, look. Excuse me. Um, You should let her. This fool said so you should let her give you a blowjob because that would help me out. The simple fact that he cares less about his wife's reputation to say to just to offer her to to, to the security girl, you know, Hunter ain't shit. Okay, he ain't shit. But luckily, see, service said, "You know what, sir? No, thank you. I'm good. It's okay." He then said, "You know, my mistress Denise had a twin sister. Yes, Ruth, and her ass is crazy. Leave Ruth somewhere else, okay?" But I digress. He's like, "No, sir, I'm good." So Hunter, they say, I gotta get back to my room to, you know, shower because she, you know, I'm like, I wanna know what she do to make it in the shower. I don't want to know. He gets back to the room. <laughs> Victoria, like, you know what I'm saying? So, what were you doing? 
are you still really having them in the house? You could not have them here, okay? You are full of shit. You know what? Go back to bed. I'm going to the shower. She's like, okay. He goes to the bathroom, gets undressed, gets in the shower, cuts his feet up. This fool, Victoria put broken glass in the shower on the floor. So now when he got in the shower, he would cut his feet up. I was like, and I mean drew blood, girl. She cut, He come out, foot all cut up and bleed. The next time one of your staff members prevents people coming over, it will be his last action. Okay? Mm-hmm. Victoria, I like her. I do. It's, it's, it's a lot. We then see Lily. Lily go back to bed, okay? After she didn't been down there talking to Kyle. Down like, who, who are you talking to? I was on the phone. We're talking to my, oh, no, Kyle down there. Kyle, he's not supposed to be here. What? He's here? He's just like, he's down the door. So Donald then get up and gets out the bed. He's like, where are you going? Stay up here. Stay up here. He get up, go down. She then get up and she listens at the door, okay? He like, what are you doing here, Kyle? Why are you here, Kyle? I'm here for you. You are my priority, sir. I said, oh, they bumping the uglies, okay? You know what? I don't need you to keep watch. I am your boss. You need to leave, sir. You know what I'm saying? I, Kyle, I can make this hard for you to stop, okay? Do you, do you, do you really want to do this? I'm like, do what? What uglies did y'all bump? Okay, look, okay? I thought this is what you wanted, sir. I'm like... Is it what he wanted, Kyle? His girl? I'm here to help, sir. I said, oh, Lord, it's nasty that's going on. You ever see He then says, you know, me being here brings me comfort. Allow me to look after you and your wife. And he keeps reaching out for Donald. And Donald keeps, oh, don't touch me. Don't do that. They did something, okay? They did something, but what was it? I don't know. You know, so I'm like, Kyle, I think they, they bumping butts, okay? I really, really, really do. But Kyle does leave and go back outside or whatever. And then Lily runs back in the room and acts as if she didn't hear nothing. Girl, your husband is fucking security. We see a little small scene, okay? Freaky Jason. Y'all know Freaky Jason. <laughs> this is the son. This is Thought Pockets Gail's brother, who I call Freaky Jason. Free Jason, you know, because he do freaky time, okay? He gets to his room and he sees the maid girl making his bed. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, we're not supposed to let y'all see us. It's supposed to be like magic. He's like, where do you guys live? She's like, oh, there's like a staff quarters here. Oh, where are the staff quarters? She's like, I have to ask if I can show you that. Well, you know, you asked me, can you help me or whatever? And I want you to show me where y'all stay. Don't look. Do not trust Free Jason, okay? Mm, nope. That one curl, that one Michael Jackson curl, don't do it. Do not show your house. Don't, don't, don't do not show him how to get to the, the stab quarters. And now we always saw Free Jason. So we do see at home, Mama Nancy and the very girlfriend name I cannot remember right now is having a conversation. Mainly because Mama like, you know, what he said to you, he didn't mean that. He was just upset. Oh, he meant it, okay? Because he said it before. And I just... His, she doesn't even like you. The daughter doesn't like me. Baby, that's because all a kid wants at that age is for their parents to be together. So it's not you, okay? It's not you leave alone or whatever. You know what? I can't even understand why he got with the proof. Like, I don't get it. The mom didn't say, you know, you have to remember that's not how she was back then. They've known each other since they were kids. But, you know, she lived a really, really hard life. A horrible father, you know, who knows what happened to them in that house. You know, but things happened and she turned out this kind of way or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, we got to get it figured out. So, I'm like, all right. So, the girlfriend brings up how, you know what, I'm going to give him some time to get through some things, whatever, to move past things. But I am sick and tired of having to sit here and just be quiet and just take his, you know what I'm saying, aggravation because of Ruth. I'm just tired of it. I see girl, me too. So we then see Richard. Richard and found Barry, okay? Barry been sitting all night in a car or whatever with that gun. So daddy pull up to where he was and gets in the car. He's like, you know what? I remember the moment, you know what I'm saying? I saw you for the first time. So I remember the first time. And I laid eyes on you, okay? I never thought there would be a love so strong. I, you know, from that moment, you know what I'm saying, my whole life changed. I just know that, okay? You know, and you were a good kid. You never gave us any trouble. You never gave us any issue, okay? And I know the anger you have and the love for your child that would make you want to kill to protect them. But, son, you can't do this, okay? You are not a killer. You are not a killer, son. He's like, you know what, that? 
I want my baby. Okay, I want my baby. Barry. Barry. You know what I'm saying? Um, because he like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kill these I'm gonna kill them all that. I'm like, well, one gun. Do you know how to shoot Barry? Do you have extra round? Like what? You get you gonna take one gun and they got a whole coat boy back. So we're like, son, you are not a like just don't you're not a killer, son, don't do it. Matter of fact, give me the gun. Now him and Barry in the car are fighting over the gun, the gun goes off. And that's how it goes off. Girl, I'm like Somebody can love Barry. Barry didn't get accused of rape, you know, to kidnap. His daddy didn't, I, his daddy may have shot him, I'm not sure. But it's one thing after the other. So I can't wait for next week's episode to see what else happens. I have to do my own because, girl, I'm sick this. Anyway, I'm done, y'all. Peace.